Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So what I have here as the central issue is the heart. Okay, so a love situation. Um, oh boy, here we have uh, Justice and this uh, Queen of Swords. Now, uh, you'll notice on the back of her chair, there are nine swords, okay? And at her feet, there is one. Now, that one sword seems to be in question. She's been hurt. You know, she's uh, had a lot of bad experiences, I feel, when it comes to love. And she's feeling right now um, that it, everything just seems so unfair, especially uh, when it comes to this sword at her feet, because she's obviously in love with this person, and, um, and she feels like she may have been betrayed, or she's wondering if this is just going to be another betrayal. Okay? So... Um, on these again we have the heart on the card uh, with the with the cards and the mermaid and so uh, the cards can indicate something that is very fragile that could just you know fall apart at any moment and that I feel is how she feels like it could all just fall apart at any moment um, the mermaid mm, could be uh, illusions. Um, it could be that she's feeling uh, hoodwinked, tricked. Uh, she's feeling very skeptical now about uh, someone that she loves, about a love situation. Okay. She may be feeling very skeptical about their feelings towards her now she would be questioning this that swords at her feet so she's definitely questioning that sword and questioning uh, that person's intentions their motives um, and their feelings um, you know their honesty and whether or not they've been honest with her or not okay and she is very very sensitive about this okay because um, somebody uh, how would I say that she doesn't she's been lied to before and so it's like a real sore spot in her she feels like she's haunted here by what by the competition card um, the devil up here so she feels like maybe they might be cheating but she may not have all of her facts but she is suspicious she is suspicious because of this tower because of something that has happened something that um, something that she heard perhaps or something that was seen um, and now she feels threatened. Now uh, this tower has probably lit up a red flag for her. Now she has all of these doubts and concerns uh, about uh, her partner and about uh, this commitment. Okay. She's trying to understand it. She's trying to understand what she heard. Okay. Um and is trying to see the bigger picture. She is she is wise enough, you know, not to jump the gun. She will think things through here. She's not happy with her options. Um, she wants to get to the root issue of whatever got lit up here by the sun okay whatever that tower brought in um, she is now seeking uh, clarity for this I feel like she hasn't yet confronted her person but is thinking of confronting but like I said she's not somebody who is just gonna jump right in there she's experienced and she's very wise Okay, so uh, she will think this through before 
confronting her partner. Uh, she will be looking for signs and looking for proof of what she has heard or seen. Okay, she may have seen something, but she's not sure about what she saw exactly, you see. But whatever she saw or heard is enough to make her feel threatened. Okay. Yeah, she could have received a message or saw a message. Because I do have messages showing up here quite strongly. So it, it could have been something she saw um, online, perhaps. Something she heard or, or something that was written, possibly. She's trying to decide if all is as it appears or if this person is is just going to betray her like the others you know it's like is this just another betrayal this is this is what she's trying to decide because she really really wants this person she really really wants this relationship and she wants it to work she wants it to work Um, this person has her heart. She's in love with this person. And um, hearing this uh, or seeing whatever she saw um, has her feeling threatened and her, her desire for the future is now threatened. And... Um, and so she's hurting here. She's feeling very emotional right now. And um, as she try, she, she's trying to decide if he really uh, loves her or not. She's trying to decide if he or she has uh, been cheating on them or not. Um, okay, let's have a look at this. So here we have the moon. Okay, so it's about illusions, deception, um, things in the dark, fear. Um, it could be emotional triggers even. And she's making comparisons, comparing one thing to another as she tries to figure this out and tries to figure out how to escape from this situation. And so then we have this page who's very interesting, uh, very interesting because you cannot see his face. So this is like saying, well, I, I don't know how he feels. Now, I'm, I'm unsure. I have doubts. It could be that it could be that you saw a letter and that you may have a, a letter or a message that you may have uh, misunderstood and took to be like a love letter or uh, some something something that you wouldn't normally write to someone okay so it could be something like that or something they received from somebody that made you believe that that you saw that made you believe that there's more going on with this person than what appears you know or what they're saying but um I feel like you're ready to talk about this here in the future, all right? But I, I don't think it's what you think. I think that, yes, I think that there is somebody that is interested romantically in your person, but I don't feel that those feelings are returned. I feel like your person does return the love that you feel, okay? And I feel like, yes, there is somebody in the you know in the shadows there but I feel like like I said I feel like somebody is romantically interested in your person but your person is not returning those feelings 
Okay, so I feel like they are loyal to you. All right, so yeah, you've got a question on your mind and you're going to ask it. You want to expand upon this. Okay, what is this? And maybe you should stop talking to this person, you know. Um, and so this is with the child. It's like you're going to get a new perspective on that message. when you Once you have this talk with your person, it is going to free up any uh, um, mental and emotional concerns that you may have right here at the heart of the reading. Uh, concerning your partner um, but there is still that that little problem which is that other person who uh, seems to have an interest in in your partner that you will need to take care of or that they will need to take care of okay so or at least let them know that that you know for uh, for them to let that person know that they are not romantically interested in them so that they will back off you know and so that will need to be done that that has to be done uh, so as not to uh, create any more uncomfortable situations between you and your partner about this you know um, and uh, this will you know free you from any of these worries that you have so um, that is what I have for you. It is not what you think, but there is somebody there that, you know, needs to back off. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for uh, watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.